Hey there, my Krabby Patties. Welcome. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I'm going to do your general love reading through the end of July 2020. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell over on the side so that you know whenever I put out new content. If you're interested in getting a birthday reading, your birthday readings are on sale until July 22nd. Um, you have to have Cancer Sun and um, just send me an email. Put Cancer Birthday Special in the subject line. I will get back to you with all of the information. Um, and it applies to um, phone or live video chat readings. Um, 30 minutes or longer. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, I do get busy, especially for my water signs. They tend to be the ones that get readings more than anybody else. So if you if you want that, you need to take advantage of it before July 22nd. All right, so we're going to pull an overall energy message. This is a general reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Please keep an open mind. Remember, this is general. It might not be for you. The only way to know for sure is by getting a private reading, whether it's with me or the person of your choice. Um, and this can resonate at any time. There's no expiration date, no time frame on these videos. The calendar is made by man, okay? So let's see what's going on here for my lovely Krabby Patties through the end of July 2020 in your overall energy. You've got the mystic circle. Your abilities will be enhanced. Well, that does not surprise me. Um, now is the time to be setting your intentions and praying and manifesting right now because you're going to be getting a boost from spirit. Um, cancer is one of the most intuitive, if not the most intuitive, of all the signs, especially the water signs. And um, a lot of us out here are psychic mediums, tarot readers, myself included. Um, but know that your abilities will be enhanced. We do have a new moon in Cancer um, coming up on July 20th. And it's going to be um, wrapping up eclipse season. We've had a lot of eclipses on the um, Cancer Capricorn axis. Um, this is our second new moon in Cancer in a row, which is a very unusual um, astrological placement. Um, so definitely take advantage of this energy because you are definitely going to be supported by spirit at this time. Um, those of you who are Patreon members, um, the Teachable Moments this month, I'm going to teach you guys some spells. We're going to do a love spell, an abundance spell, and a healing spell. So if you want to learn how to do spells and do some candle magic, some, uh, some seromancy, I highly recommend you sign up for my Patreon channel. All right, so in your overall energy and love and relationships, we've got the truth. It's the truth cutting through the bullshit. Ace of Swords, new beginning of communication. There's a victory wreath here, the laurel wreath. It's air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is clearly speaking. Mercury is um, still retrograding, um, but in the sign of Cancer. Uh, Mercury retrograde for most others is over with, but it's hanging out in the sign of Cancer until August 6th. So this is about speaking speaking and verbalizing what you feel, okay, in a clear way, being very clear and cutting off any bullshit, anything that doesn't serve you, and you are going to win. You're going to be victorious here. Clear, new beginnings. Another ace, ace of cups, but there's two people on this card. New beginning, reconciliation. Look how he's looking into her eyes. This is true love, the beginning of true love. Your cup runneth over. Somebody might open up with their emotions and be very honest and verbalize what they're feeling. So you might be uh, spilling the beans here. Water, energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Eight of Swords. Someone is stuck, trapped. They can't stop thinking about something, but you're keeping yourself stuck. 
You can't manifest or have a new beginning when you're stuck. Somebody feels insecure. Someone might have made you feel less than. Or somebody's some you're on someone's mind and they can't stop thinking about you. They keep playing a scenario over and over and over and over again. Someone feels stuck. They're also feeling vulnerable. She's she's nude. But you're coming out of the energy because you got some new beginnings here. Something that's going to lead to long-term stability, commitment, marriage. Ten of Pentacles. This has to do with family, legacy. Um, something long-term, something that's been going on a long time. But this is feeling complete, completely secure. This is having everything. This is a lot of abundance here. And it's something very real that's going to go the distance. Somebody is going from feeling insecure and stuck to having it all. Plus enough to share with others. On the bottom, it's the Empress. She's the queen of all queens. She's the queen bee, yo. This is a grown-ass woman who's learned all of her life lessons. She's the divine feminine. She's the queen of all queens. She's loving, nurturing, receptive, beautiful, loving. But there's a new beginning of love and abundance here in truth. Someone is being seen as the true, true love, true empress here. She's Venus energy. She can be Taurus, Libra, Cancer. She's magical. She's nurturing her creative ideas. She is not insecure or codependent. She's got her shit together. And she's not going to go chase after anybody. It comes to her. She's attracting it. She is attractive. So don't, don't, don't feel like you're chopped liver. Because you know what? You're the queen bee. But you're only human. You know, sometimes no matter what we do... It's never good enough, but it'll be it'll be good enough and even better for the right person, right? But this is wife, mother. Underneath that is another ace, the ace of pentacles. That's the best ace you can get. It's a minor arcana version of the sun. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Solid, real, new beginning. Two of wands, four of cups. So someone is bored. They're tired of the status quo, and they're making a decision to choose a new direction. They, have to, they had to choose between two things equal, but they want something real, and they're manifesting for it. And this is making a decision. Someone feels like they were taken for granted, and um, they got to decide here. And they want a solid new beginning that's real. And they want someone that's, that sees, this, this empress knows her worth and sees her worth, and there's a gift or an offer here. Underneath that is the Hierophant. This is a blessed union of souls. Marriage. Marriage. There's a, a new beginning here, and there's going to be some sort of truth spoken, some sort of clarity. Cutting yourself free from this. Having faith. This is also um, collective consciousness. It's, or, it's traditional organization. Um someone may be very tradition they're stuck in in um there's some family stuff going on here um this is someone who wants a traditional marriage home family okay queen of the queen of the castle here there's a lot of love here having faith it's your moral compass it's also learning the lessons this is a teacher someone's learned this grown-ass woman has learned all of her life lessons this person may also be a spiritual teacher who is a sinner and a saint at the same time down to earth practical in their teachings and in their belief system but this is also breaking free and not not being a, a sheeple being a little bit more creative and marching to the beat of your own drum and embracing your own unique beauty, gifts, and talent and not letting someone make you feel 
like you're worthless, like you're chopped liver, when in fact you got everything here. You got three new beginnings coming in. So, Cancer, we're going to take the rest of your story over to Vimeo. I'm going to clarify these major arcana. We're going to bring in some advice from Spirit and some love messages for you. I will post the link down below in the description box for you. And I will see you there.